you know, I want to get into this test with these guys, and I really want to tell them about this. Like we haven't, we haven't started welding it out yet, and it's because uh, it's a it's a step by step by step by step process. When you're taking these welding tests, you got to really understand and you got to really know what you're looking at, what you're dealing with, and, and a lot of the times, the, nobody's going to help you out. They're just going to be like, okay, either you pass or you fail. Now, an inspector, you know. His job is not in charge of the weld test. You're charging in charge of the weld test. And you saw my video about tacking it up. Well, this time I'm gonna tell you about the tacks. I said it should shoot. There's the homie, Tony. Uh, so I told you about like how that little thing will shoot. Well, it will shoot. You just gotta be smart about how you approach your tacks and your weld test. Now let's just take a close look at this weld coupon here and um, I just want to show you guys and I want to point out how I kept the sides, you know, a pretty good same gap. Now my tacks are different. This one's a little bit bigger than this one. And for me, there's a purpose for this. A lot of times I got to take this test at a 6G and I want the bigger tack on the bottom. So basically the meat on the bottom of the test. Um, and on the top, I'm not really too concerned because gravity takes effect on top. But here's what I want to get into. And these tacks right here, they're both different, but you can see right here, how you can see most of the bevel here, right? That's a good indication that bead is soaked down in there. And when you come over here, you can sell, see there's just a little bit right there of that, that bevel, and there's not much here. That's a good indication this right here, half of this weld is not inside that pipe. So I'm here to teach you guys about how to read the tack and understand the stack. Because sometimes, you know, you might be not able to see what's going on inside the pipe and you got to know from the outside of the pipe so say you're running weld somewhere and it looking like that you need to know in the back of your mind it's not in there and so what we're going to get in today is just kind of reading and understanding the tacks you always want your bigger tack on the bottom at all times gravity is going to come into effect you want something to tie into that's got a lot of meat but here i'm talking i'm talking about the tack all right let's see if we can get the light going on there now you see a quarter of an inch there and that's what i'm trying to talk about and on this other one you can see we got some meat in there, right? Now that's what I was talking I was talking about. You see all that in there on it, but you don't, and on this one, you only see that. That's a good indication we don't got this here. So now what we'll go ahead and do is, when we run this test, you're gonna have to know what side to run, right? And so what I tell people is, you usually wanna do the bigger size gap, but if you got the same size gap, then just pick a side. You know what side I suggest you doing uh, is whatever's big, but on this type of stuff, you want to stagger your start and stop with your tack. So notice I ran this way with my tack on both sides. So that way my hole is on opposite sides. So that way when I go to grind my start here, I can run into my opening. It'd be a good tie-in. Same thing here. You, you can run it this way, but a lot of the times we run it this way, you know, because this would be the top. And so if this was the top of my 6G, I would run this side first. I would grind this down, all of this right here, to where it was real thin, you know, down to the landing almost, and then I'd just do a little bit here. And then when I fire up, I'd fire up right on top of this hole, not in it, but like right here, and try to pierce right through here. And you get like, you know, you can try to get it in your first shot, you want to get it in your first shot. You don't get it in your first shot, guess what, you're coming back, you're grinding it, you're trying to get in there, and remember, you only got a quarter of an inch here. So, you know, you can thin it out and run this whole side. Don't grind that tack yet. Don't grind that yet. Just grind this one. Grind this one, run your weld here, look inside, make sure you got it, if you can look inside. Sometimes you're not gonna be able to. And then what happens is you got your big hump like this here. Go ahead and grind it out and grind back to where this originally was thin and fire up here again and run through that to just make sure you got it in there. Cause you're either gonna blow through cause it wasn't in there or you're, or you're just gonna push it in there cause it was in there. And then again, you know, you thin that just a little bit. Look, you won't even have to thin that much. So then that's the only part right there, you know, that you really need to put a landing on and thin it. And we're gonna get into that next, but I wanna give you the video and have you guys understand how to read these tacks before we thin these tacks, because the next episode is thinning the tacks and running the bead. We need to show you guys step by step, because if I run through it all, you're gonna miss it all. I mean, it's little things, little tiny things. I mean, it's the little tricks that get you past the test and that's kind of what my workshop is about. That's why I'm out here teaching these guys. It's little things that they need their confidence kind of built and reinsured 
to go out there and get that test. Nobody's telling them, okay, you know, run it a little tighter, run it a little hotter. And then, you know, I hear things all the time, you know, about smoking your bead and hollow bead, whatever. You know what? I mean, okay, I get it. You know, uh, people can leave their comments, but man, trust me, I've been doing this for 17 years welding this pipe. And uh, I smoke my rods all the way to the bottom at times. And I don't catch porosity because I know what I'm looking for. There's certain things that you have to learn to look for in the puddle you know, as it's molting. And we're gonna get into all that stuff. This teaching is like mind blowing. You know the emoji with the mind blowing? That's what knowledge is for this welding. I'm learning every day about welding. It's taking me further and further and further every day. I learn more and more about it. It doesn't stop evolving. This damn, whatever. 